God almighty, son. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to True Crime Loser. I hope you're doing well. So, what a week, folks. I talked to you a week ago, and at that time, it was a slow news week, and I had a cranked out back, and that night, I was laying in bed just nursing my back and moaning and my girlfriend goes, I think there's something wrong with little T. And I walk over and little T has this like horribly sad looking long pinkish drool hanging out and her hair is all disheveled and she's just sitting there like. Rrr. We were like, oh no, you know, it looked like she had a stroke sitting there like, T, you all right? So obviously that night was extremely sad in our household and just, you know, she's my best little buddy. So real tough night. We were thinking like 80% sure it was just a, like a tooth infection that came to a head because the year before the vet said she's going to need teeth pulled. She's too fat to do it right now though. So she's got to lose weight. And uh, so we put her on a diet a year ago, and um, we would, were scared, though. We didn't think she had lost any weight. Weight comes off old house cats slow. So we were like, is she even losing weight? She looks a little fat still. But um, so that night, my girlfriend makes a vet appointment for the next day, but we're watching her all night, making sure that she you know if she needs to go for emergency we'll take her in and she kind of just laid in the corner which is never good if an animal goes off kind of by themselves she kind of just went and laid in the corner and felt so bad for that night wake up bring her in to the vet she had a 10 30 a.m appointment for last friday so exactly a week ago they say it is her teeth she needs pretty much all of her teeth pulled all but two were ended up pulled. They make sure her, they take an EKG of her heart to make sure she it's strong enough for sedation. It is, they put her down, procedure goes well, and she's back recovering. And so I was just, I was like checked out of everything happening in the world because my little cat is sick. And then we get her home, she's recovering, she's making, and now she's doing better probably already than she was before. I think she had some tooth discomfort for a while so we're feeling really happy about that so that's some good news people look at that they're one thing in the in this world little t's doing good all right and um but yeah i'm fo i'm really following the case of the Der Derek chauvin the cop that really just completely blew it he killed George Floyd with his knee, pretty much had his knee on his own neck too, and the neck of America. And you're, he just, what a sad, just lost. Like he's sitting there, that look on his face just looks like a sad, lost man. And Mr. Floyd deserved a hundred times better. That's one of the most heartbreaking videos I've ever seen. And so, as you guys, as everybody saw, after months of being told you gotta stay inside this is the you know it's imperative dr fauci saying the third wave is going to be worse than the second we better you know everyone's jobs are disappearing everybody's feeling bleak and then officer derek chauvin just lit a match and threw it on the gas pile and everything exploded and here we are and uh I said I'm gonna be following. He got charged with first third degree murder, and then it got upgraded to second degree murder. And um, I don't know. It's not looking good for him. I think he just threw it all away. And he had. It, it seems so avoidable to me. You have so much time to just get your composure. Whatever's bruised, your ego or your, you know, his temper, whatever was happening in that video. He had a plenty of time to just get it together and save poor Mr. Floyd and himself. And, you know, caused so much suffering and pain and madness and just destruction. For what? The, the, the arrest was made. The situation was neutralized. 
So, and then something that I had never really seen before. So the protesters and then, you know, you get the people that take advantage of the moment. And, but the, I'm sure you guys have seen it, but the, like the organized bricks that they're putting around, like there's tubs, like plastic tubs set in all the major cities with piles of bricks. So this is an organized, uh, what are they calling it? Professional agitators or two New York City lawyers. One, her name was Aruj Rahman. And then uh, the other guy's name's Midas or something. But they're Ivy League educated New York City lawyers and they got arrested for throwing a Molotov cocktail into an empty police van. And they're, now they're facing... Uh, five to 20 years and then i saw another 27 year old girl from upstate new york which is a nice you know upstate new york who has been arrested 11 times in 11 states and she in a video someone was videoing all the you know the chaos and and you just see this girl wearing the red hat you just see her light this Molotov cocktail and the guy it's filming it's like what is this girl doing you know and she's lighting them up. and then you don't see her for a second and then you just hear her go get the fuck out of the way and she runs up and just hurls kind of throws like a girl sorry no offense hurls the Molotov cocktail at a police car with four cops in it and it shatters doesn't explode lucky for her and she gets at first I think four counts of attempted murder against a cop. And then they brought the charges down to like improvised firebomb of a police cruiser or something. But she, I mean, think about her parents. You li- think about her parents. You live upstate New York, your daughter, Samantha, you know, she's probably gone to some great college or whatever. And then you just get here. Yeah, Samantha has federal charges for throwing a Molotov cocktail. And uh, hope it was worth it to just throw one cocked, one Bud Light beer bottle stuffed with toilet paper at a cop car. And um, I don't know. It's a dark time. I am just really, though, happy that through this dark time, I still have my best buddy, Little T. And uh, so I'm going to keep following, like I said, the Derek Chauvin stuff and also the cases of the professional agitators. That to me is just, it's almost like, remember when I went to Communist Book Club? It's got to be just a, a uh, like an organization like that that just is going for the bloody revolution or chaos or anarchy or whatever the goal is it's like all right now we use which is as low as it gets let's use the legitimate anger for mr floyd being killed by the cop and use it for whatever that turned into but i'm gonna keep following it like i said some things i'm gonna i want to do a uh i picked to do the Rocky Rambo interrogation when it was a slow news week. I was sitting there. It's like COVID's wrapping up. This is a perfect time to do it. I'm going to push it off just a little bit and do a video on the appeal of um, Scott Peterson. He's getting an appeal. And then before all this uh, craziness happened, something I have wanted to do for a year is I wanted to edit together, go through all of the True Crime Loser episodes of the past year and a half, and pull out some of the stories that people have really enjoyed. I've gotten a lot of good feedback on them and also just ones that I've enjoyed putting together. And I took all of those and I edited all the stuff around them. So it's just the story and I edited those together. It's something I'd like to do every year or two just to keep uh, just like an archive of the stories, you know. So I'm going to post that. It's two out Right now it's two and a half hours of just stories. So if you have been with the channel since the very beginning, you've probably seen them all, but if you've come in um, later through Jim Can't Swim or whatever, there's probably a few in there that you haven't seen. Also, it's just some feel-good 
distraction content has nothing to do with what's going on in the world and um, I think for some people right now you gotta you gotta supplement the news with stuff like that so anyway it's good to be back people I'm gonna do or try to do my Scott Peterson video right now and so that should be up hopefully later today or tomorrow stay safe you know treat your neighbors well I have a I can't help but think that both sides of the political uh, aisle, it just feels like they both want us as divided as possible. And I really just don't think that we are. And so I don't think, don't try not to take the bait. Give yourself a break on the news. I love you all. I'll see you hopefully very soon. Why? Stabbing why? Shamita.